Welcome everybody to my mobile game showcase where we're going to show you some live action of a mobile game and talk about that game and how good it is, how bad it is, and what we like about it. So today we're going to take a look at a game called Zombie Gunship. Um, let's take a look at uh, what the game is all about. It's a uh, top-down shooter. It's a free-to-play mobile game. It's um, Like I said, it's in the format of a top-down shooter and it's in the zombie survival genre. So let's take a look at uh, some gameplay and we'll talk a bit about it. So the basic premise of the game is that you are the crew of a AC-130 gunship and uh, you're there to help survivors get away from the zombies and you'll be looking through uh, your infrared view using a variety of weapons. Um, the zombies, since they're dead, will show up as black. The survivors will show up as white. There's a number of areas um, that you can that you can play in slightly different maps. Um, there only one is unlocked at the very beginning. The others can be unlocked with either um, by paying to win or by uh, accumulating in-game currency. So there's our. Uh, this is uh, your main view. Basically, you've got three weapons to choose from. Here, I'm uh, playing with our biggest weapon, the 105 millimeter cannon, which has a big splash area effect. It's not very surgical. It takes a long time to reload but uh, it works really well. Now you see a zombie is attacking one of the humans and I just sniped it away with our 25 millimeter chain gun. That's our machine gun. Um, it's good for being surgical and precise and um, can also do area effect. It doesn't run out of ammo or have to stop to reload, but it can overheat. So the main gun you're going to be using most of the time is probably this 40 millimeter gun. It's got a decent rate of fire. You can fire five shots at a time. It's got a Decent area effect, but not so big that you can't be surgical. Uh, and again, uh, each of the weapons has different purposes. I like to use the 40 millimeter for just kind of walking down lines of zombies and blowing them up. Um, again, the victory conditions for the game, you want to get your uh, surviving people to get all the way to your bunker and be rescued. And here we go, we're using the uh, 105 millimeter in its best uh, option. That's when you can blow up a big clump of zombies that are all grouped together. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go and you want to you want to try and try and save as many of the civilians as possible. Let them get to the bunker into safety. Meanwhile, keeping the zombies away from the bunker. And there's our bunker now, right there with a the civilian running into it. Um, a tricky thing is the game will end if you either let a zombie get in your bunker or if you accidentally kill too many civilians. So there's going to be situations where you're better off letting the zombies kill the civilians rather than trying to save them because if you accidentally hit the civilian um, you only get three friendly fire kills before your game is over and uh, so sometimes it's just in your best interest let the zombie win because here um, I think this is where it happens yeah I accidentally just just chopped up one of one of my friendlies there so if I had just let the zombies kill him it wouldn't have been a problem but because I uh, I took the shot and went for it. Uh, you know, I took the risk. It didn't pay off, and now I'm a little bit closer to having my game end. Uh, here I'm taking a, out a big group, trying to let uh, let some of the civilians get through. A little bit more work with the 40 millimeter, and try a surgical shot here. And I accidentally blew up a civilian again. Uh, this is uh, the 25 millimeter getting a little bit of use. You see, it's an it's it's a good all-around weapon. The problem is you have to focus in your view so you can't really see what's going on around you while you're using it. And again, I'm going to try and snipe another zombie to save a civilian. I didn't get him in time. Another big clump. And this is a fun little time waster. It's not a very deep game, but it is fun. You know, you'll you'll earn you'll earn in-game currency by completing these uh, these games that you can get upgrades to your weapons. Um, they're not all unlocked at once. Uh, so you get a warning if a zombie is getting close to your bunker entrance. And it highlights them. And there's another civilian that I'm going to try and save. Got him out, out of trouble. And this one, yep, I chopped up another civilian and ended the game right there. So once the game's over, get a chance to look at your objectives. Here I got enough of an objective to gain a little bit of rank. 
Um, you can either buy your way past some of these objectives or pay for them with in-game currency if you win enough. And you can also take a look at your post-game stats to check out your score, how many coins you've earned, how many people you saved, how many zombies you blew up. This wasn't a particularly high-scoring match for me. I've done a lot better than this. Um, you can also upgrade each of the three weapons that you have. Um, they each have different stats that you can upgrade. You can either um, you can either use your in-game currency to buy upgrades like I do here, or you can go and buy coins to pay for them. There's also extras where you can get bonuses like forgiveness for killing too many civilians and things like along those lines that are pretty cool. So let's uh, hop right into the second game and see what we can do there. So like I said earlier, I don't really have all of the different maps opened yet, so we can keep playing on this map. Um, the gameplay is basically the same on every map. Um, and here you see I'm starting out with my big gun already just because it's there, <laughs> even though I don't have big groups of zombies to deal with. This game I think I lasted a little bit longer, um, so you get to see a little bit more of the gameplay. This isn't a terribly deep game. Um, there's not much more to it than what you've seen so far, um, but that makes it a, a great like time waster game so that you can just pick it up and put it down and play it when you got a few minutes and you need some stress relief that kind of thing um, but it is a lot of fun and you see here we go I'm kind of surgically sniping uh, the zombies away from from the civilians here to try and get some rescues again uh, 40 millimeters usually your go-to weapon because it's a uh, it's kind of the best of both worlds. You can focus in a bit, um, and you have a little bit of splash damage, so you can take out nice groups. And I'm uh, just going to continue to walk through this. Um, sometimes uh, you're, you're on an angle because you're, again, the model is that you're um, in, in a big airplane that's kind of circling around the area. So when you have hills like that, sometimes they can hide in the shadows of the hills. And it's a little bit more difficult. Here we are using the 25 millimeter, which I didn't use too much last time, except to do some sniping. And I just killed a civilian. Here we go, trying to get some of these zombies that are hiding behind that hill. Firing on groups. Um, here we go, they're attacking the bunker entrance. Again, we got civilians mixed in with the zombies, so we got to be a little bit careful about how we're shooting, how we're aiming. Um, the controls for this game are really simple. You've got the big red happy fire button in the lower left, and basically um, touch the screen and slide around to, to scroll and aim. Basically anywhere, so it's very, very basic controls. Um... All three weapons are pretty good. They just have different, uh, again, they have different strengths and weaknesses. And you can see what happens to your view as you switch weapons. Um, the smaller and more precise weapons don't let you see as much of the situation around you. So it's kind of easy to get target fixated and uh, not realize that there's a group of zombies encroaching your bunker from the other side when you're, when you're focused in using the 25mm gun. Let's see, and as it goes on, while the number of zombies just increases and increases and increases and increases so eventually you're going to get overrun um, some of the extras and I think um, one of the extras actually does come into play one of the extras is what's called the bomb buddy and what that'll happen is the first time a zombie gets into the entrance to your bunker it'll blow up and kill them for you so you get a little bit of a reprieve there um, but um, usually when it gets that far well it's gonna happen again pretty soon because it's uh, it, it lets you get some mistakes forgiveness and you just saw caught a glimpse there of a really big zombie you'll get to see them a little bit closer a little bit later in this game um, they're big brutes they take a lot of firepower to take down and um, it seems to me well you'll you'll see when we get to them when when it gets closer to the bunker see there he was again I, I'm choosing to ignore him right now so I could be a little bit more surgical and get some room here we go I'm using the 40 mil right now, but um, against the big guys, the best weapon is the small machine gun, actually. Because um, they'll take splash damage, but you kind of have to focus in on them to get to, to really take them down. And um, if you use 
the splash damage weapons just doesn't work as well. So here we go. I'm, I'm using, trying to do short bursts on the machine gun. You sort of took that guy down fairly easily. And uh, I'm using some longer bursts here to just kind of spray the area while, so I don't have to keep switching weapons. And here it's, this is a typical end game. You just get, start getting so overwhelmed that all you can really do is just <laughs> blow up the ones that are right at the entrance to your bunker. There's another big one. Let's see if we can take him down pretty quickly. Again, using sh lots of short bursts on the machine gun so I don't overheat too much and keep the fire focused on him. And he goes down pretty quickly. Um, if you try to take him out with splash weapons, it's, uh, again, because of the slower reload time, um, if he's close to the bunker, you might not be able to do it. So I generally try to use the machine gun on the big ones. Here we go. I'm just getting groups of them. They're actually getting faster, too. Just got groups of zombies just charging the entrance. Um, I think I've only killed one civilian so far, so I've got a little bit of breathing room here. But you see you get civilians mixed in with the zombies, and you have to be really careful especially if you've already killed two civilians. Now, let's see, I may actually kill this one by mistake. No, oh, I got him, I think. Yep, I killed him. Uh, no, he, he did get in. And that, that was the bomb buddy going off, not my explosion. So uh, the bomb buddy saved me from the one zombie that got through while the civilian was there. And now I'm just getting overwhelmed, so I'm switching to the big weapons and just spamming the area as best as I can. And it's only going to be a matter of time before I go down here. So this is how a typical end game goes when you're when you really got a cooking. It's gonna get just get more and more intense from here, and you're probably not gonna get out of it. Another big zombie. It takes a little bit of focus to to get rid of him, and while you're focusing on that, other other zombies may be sneaking by you. And I think that's what's about to happen. No, nope, I got them all. Civilians running just ahead of the zombies. And he gets in, I can unload with the big guns, get a little bit of breathing room, and just keep fighting away. At this point, it, it like I said, it's just a matter of time before I'm going down, but I'm trying to score as many kills as I can and see if I can squeeze out another civilian save. It's not too likely at this point because they're really being relentless at this point. We got another big one coming in. The problem with the 25 millimeters is that sometimes the, the zombies just get lucky and can travel between the built bullets. Uh, yeah, the big zombies are coming almost as fast as the, the little zombies now. So that little break when you have to focus on them, that lets you lose ground in other places. So you end up really, you really end up with the game just focusing in on the, the tunnel entrance. Still working it with the 25 mil. Throwing the big guns in there now and then to get a little bit of breathing room and just repeat, repeat, repeat until <laughs> until they eventually overwhelm me. I'm actually holding on pretty well here. So this is a good example of a of of uh, what you can expect from the game. So and eventually it just gets away from you. Somebody will get in the the uh, bunker entrance in the shadows where you can't get him. Um, with that Avery guns and it's just over. That was the other losing condition when you lose because your bunker gets overrun. Um, basically what happens, they seal up the bunker and send you home <laughs> when the zombies start getting in. And here we are back at the upgrade screen, buying some upgrades for my, uh, for my weapons and some of my extras. The bomb buddy is the one that I used that saved me from the first zombie that got through. Um, the other ones are there's a pardon for killing civilians and there's a zombie bounty extra that um, lets you get more points per zombie kill. And that's pretty much it for this game. Um, not much more to it. I hope you enjoyed uh, this series and uh, we'll look forward to reviewing a few other games this way. Um, show you one or two live run-throughs of the game and uh, give you some opinions and thoughts on it along the way. And uh, Remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you like what you see, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.